everybody. It's November 3rd, and we're up bright and early at 6.30, which is not a time that I usually see in my life. Um, but I'm seeing it two days in a row. Yesterday, I had a... I can't do this one-handed. Yesterday, I had an appointment at the hospital that uh, took a couple hours, and Kristen had to take me to that. And while I was there, Kristen was able to make an appointment for herself. And today is Kristen's day to go to the hospital for an appointment. Good morning. Good morning. Kristen has a tear in her rotator cuff. And she's trying to delay having surgery. So she's getting, inject and she's getting an injection into the rotator cuff. So she needs a driver for that. So I'm going with her. But I'm going to make some coffee. I have one cup of coffee here to take with me. But I need a little before we go, so. I have to make up for the last two days, because the last two mornings I wasn't allowed to drink coffee. Uh, no, the last three mornings I wasn't allowed to drink coffee. What's wrong? My doctor says I have to eat more plants. Oh, Kristen's in trouble. <laughs> oh, it is. They did check it. Kristen had blood work yesterday that... She hadn't been putting off, but the lab's difficult to get to and has difficult hours, and usually there's long lines. So she had her blood work drawn yesterday, and unfortunately she has high cholesterol. But thankfully you're having plants for dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. Kristen is reluctantly going to eat spaghetti squash. Mm -hmm. She was making faces at it yesterday. But if she doesn't like it, she doesn't have to eat it. Okay? All right, so we're going to get ready, and we're going to go. There's frost on the window. We're not ready for this. I'm having troubles. Okay, so we have a lot of things to do today, but one of them is I need to cook dinner. And Kristen and I are trying a new, uh, not a diet, but a, a new way of eating. Anyway, so we're having the spaghetti squash and I need to cut it open, but I've got the knife stuck inside. And so you now have three knives. <laughs> and one of them is literally stuck in the spaghetti squash. I don't know if we're meant to have spaghetti squash. I'm also cleaning out the utensil drawer at the same time. I have a lot, like I said, I have a lot to do today. I to cut off my hand. I'm a knitter, I can't cut off my hand. Okay, I am out in the RV because we have someone coming today to help us winterize our RV. So I need to do a little bit of cleaning, get some more stuff out and um, just get ready for that. So that's what I'm gonna do. Gotta get my trash barrel out so I can clean properly. And I'm gonna turn on the heat because it is frigid out here. Frigid. This is why I make lists. I've already gotten myself into trouble. I need to focus on cleaning the sinks and the bathroom. And I decided to bring the rugs in, which then prompted me to sweep. And now I have carpet tape on my floor that I have to figure out how how to get up but I need to refocus and I need to do the bathroom and the shower so that we can winterize as soon as uh, our buddy gets here but then I'm gonna have to research how to pull up carpet tape because I pulled up the cart one of the carpets that we taped down and now the carpet tape is stuck to the floor and I need to get that up I decided for right now, for right this very minute, I'm not going to worry about the carpet tape. I did do the bathroom and the shower and all the sinks. And now I'm going to take the vent covers off, vacuum them, vacuum, vacuum them out. And then we bought new vent covers and some magnetic covers to go over them. Thanks to my mother, she told me about them. So that's what's going to happen next. I just brought the bedding in. I had one set of bed sheets left to wash, so I brought all of Tom's bedding in. And uh, I'm realizing that we're probably going to need a new mattress topper for him next year, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. It's looking kind of dingy, uh, but that's okay. It'll be fine. And I also found these, which will help with how cold it is in here. But I don't want to put them in the bathroom yet because they block out a lot of light in there. So, got my vacuum. 
I've got my screwdriver. I did have vent cover somewhere. The RV's not that big. Oh, I got my vent covers and I have my magnetic cover. So I'm gonna start working on this. Okay, I ran into another problem. The vent covers we bought are not the right size. We're gonna have to order them from the factory. But on top of that, all the screws for the vent covers were stripped. We have four vent covers. I was able to get three vent covers out and one vent cover. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have to figure that out, but that's a problem for another day. We have decided we're just going to painter's tape over them this winter and be done with it. That'll work. That'll do the same thing. Won't be as pretty, but we're not going to be in here anyway. So now I am going to work on bringing all this crapola in and I do still have all of the kitchen stuff. I have to check the time. 12.20. I have to stop doing all of this. I have to go outside and empty the hot water heater before our friend gets here. He's going to be here at 1. There was some stuff I wanted to do in the garden today. I don't think I'm going to get to it. I just don't think I have enough time. So that'll be a job for another day. It's just going to have to be. It's going to have to work that way. It's going to have to be okay. But now I need to run in and I need to get the keys for the RV. Okay, Kristen has come out to tell me what I need to do. But first we need to open the hot water cover. So she went to get a screwdriver. Um, There's the socket in there. There's a lot of socket stuff in here. There's no socket wrench. There's just this a... Is, this is the one we need right here. Yeah, but there's I no believe. socket wrench. No, this is not the one we need. There's okay. other ones. Okay. You're going to want to stand over to the side. This is too long. It's too long? Yeah. All right. Let me go get it. I don't want to... All right. Back with a new set of mechanical advantage. What are we doing? We are going to try to drain the hot water heater. You got to go the other way. That's, all right. So what do I do? No, How no. Do I switch it? No, you, it's... It's melting? No. All you should have to do is put this on. I know that. And pull this way. You got to pull this way towards me. So stand on this side. Work. Yes, honey. No, no. no, honey. Now you'd be tightening it. Okay. You gotta go the other way. This way? Yep, but you're gonna want to stand on the other side and probably take that, go ratchet it towards me. There you go. Now you'll have more. Oh. I can't budget. I don't think I can try. No, you can't. You might need to get your dad. Okay. I, I got it. All right. Now it's not going to be hard, now, right? No, but you don't have to do that. Remember, you can ratchet. Oh, yeah. No water in there. You had we had water and we have, the tanks are all empty other than this, so Whew. I think this is an eight or ten gallon. I don't know. I I didn't think I was gonna be able to get it off. But I decided to try one more time. And now we wait. I am I am so strong. Very strong. Alright, well we can leave this for now. And um I can continue doing Oh my god! I knew I was being butch, but I didn't know I was being this butch. She's freaking out over the anode rod. It's disgusting. I'm gonna need you to wipe so take some off for me because. All right, the RV is winterized. I haven't finished emptying it yet. I just poured um, the antifreeze down all the drains, <coughs> making sure I didn't forget any. 
Um, and we're done with that for today. <clears throat> I need to go inside and I need to make dinner because I cooked that spaghetti squash and now I need to put together the meal. And I need to cook something else for Tom to eat. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I also need to do some video editing. Uh, I have just... This has taken more of my day than I anticipated it would. I don't mind by any stretch of the imagination. It's just part of part of being an adult. Doing all the things you don't plan on. So just put the antifreeze away. This is the antifreeze, <laughs> in case you were wondering. It's a special antifreeze for RVs. Oh, and we I have to order something. We were just told to buy something for our toilet to seal it. Exciting, glamorous life, what can I say? All right, I'm gonna go do that. This is what I'm making for dinner. Uh, just uses a little bit of cheese, you make your own sauce, it's pretty simple. I don't have the fresh basil for the top, but that'll be fine. And over here, I have the sauce going. I've started the spaghetti. I cooked the spaghetti squash earlier. Uh, before I did stuff, so I'm gonna get this all ready. It's only 2:45, um, so it can go in the oven when the time comes. All right, here's dinner. It looks delicious. We tasted the sauce; it tastes delicious. I'm gonna wrap some foil on this and put it in the fridge till we're ready. Well, I'll probably just leave it on the stove actually till it's ready to go in the oven. But first, after that, I'm gonna make some banana bread to bake and freeze. We'll, we'll keep a little bit out, but most of it's gonna go in the freezer. I'm about to show you a little bit of real life. <laughs> we, we, we filled the hot tub. So I needed to get the chemicals down and the closet shelf attacked me. I'm not exactly. It's amazing that all of that stuff actually fit up there. It didn't fit up there. It was shoved up there. So now I'm going to try and wrangle this, put some of it where it belongs, you know, the trash and move on. God help me. Next item on my agenda. <laughs> Hi, Gracie. Hi. Is to free Kristen's vitamins from the bottle because they're all in one big clump. And she's been a bad girl and hasn't been taking her vitamins. She needs to take her B12, but more importantly, she needs to take her D. She's very low in D. So I'm going to I'm going to get into these bottles. All right, guys. Because we don't have enough going on. I have to, we have no water. So well people are gonna have to come out and I gotta move some stuff out of the unfinished part of the basement into my craft room. What is that? Oh, oh. all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this gonna take a while. Kristen is out of commission because of her shoulder and yeah all right I'm gonna do this. Wish me luck. By some miracle our water pump turned back on. We're just gonna hope it stays on. Dinner is almost ready. Recorded. I'm being recorded. Um, this is on a recorded line. So dinner's almost done. It looks and smells delicious. I didn't get half of my list done today, but I'm having some back pain. There's really nothing new. It just is bothering me more today than I usually. Sure it's back pain? Yeah, it's back pain. I thought it might be a pain in your butt. Nope. Because that's usually me. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll show you what dinner looks like. We'll give you our thoughts on it. I will link the recipe down below if you want to try it. That and is a big spoon you're flicking around. <laughs> so check back in a minute or two seconds for you and I'll show you what it looks like. I think Kristen's excited for this because she's posting it on her Insta. 
What's in it? Spaghetti squash. Uh -huh. Homemade pasta sauce. Spaghetti sauce. Tomato sauce, whatever. Uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms, because I didn't want to add meat. Basil. Little, uh, spices. Italian spices. Italian seasonings. Uh, and a little bit of cheese. Not a lot of cheese at all. So, here it is. It looks scrum diddly umptious. Who used to say that? Lori. Lori said that. Alright, we're gonna try it. Well, what's your... What's your first review before tasting? It looks and smells delicious. My mouth is watery and <laughs> I might start drooling if you don't want to eat it. Okay, it's really hot, so be careful. Well? It's good. <laughs> what goes around comes around. I was trying to get all the bits. It almost tastes like zucchini noodles. Yep. It's good. I would mm. have this again, would you? Definitely. Excellent. We only have to drive to Pennsylvania to get the spaghetti squash. We're growing it. In theory. Alright. For dinner. Tristan's going to chow down. And I think that's going to be it for today. So thanks for onion. hanging out with us. There is onion in it, yep. In the sauce. Um, thanks for hanging out with me today. Hanging out with Kristen a little. She had to work today, so she couldn't do too much. And she got her shoulder injected. How's your shoulder feeling? I'm glad I can use it to lift a fork. <laughs> Alright, good night YouTube.